Closer and closer as far as getting some paint on the Monte Carlo. But first, we're gonna get these door jams painted. So, we gotta remove the doors and finish prepping up the doors. And we're gonna paint the deck lid also. So, we're gonna take the deck lid and the doors off and get those in paint. So, let's get that started now. Doors and the deck lid off. It's getting dark on us, so we'll finish up in the morning. Well, I couldn't wait till in the morning to get back started. I just brought everything on the inside. I figure the more work I get done tonight, the less I have to do. I've been trying to get this glue up around the edges here where the weather strip and go. I done peeled some of it up with that uh, pretty knife. I'm going to take my wire brush and clean it on up. Plus, I got to clean up where the hinges went. On this uh, deck lid, it's pretty much straight. I did all that when I did the uh, exterior of the car. I'm going to clean this glue up here, though. But the rest of it, pretty much good to go. Let me just clean this up, then we'll get back on track. Same way with this door here. Let me show you what it's looking like after the wire wheel. Cleaned up the rust. Now I'm gonna take some rust mort and wipe it on here just to kill the rust. Which I couldn't get this when I did the exterior because I done this here. I'm gonna fill these pits with some fiberglass filler. I done kept the rust on it. You can remember I did that when I did the body work on the exterior of the car. But I cleaned up this area here. Let me take this rust mort and wipe it on those areas. But before I do that, I'm going to take some 180 and just lightly go over all this here. Feather edge. Then I take that rust mort and just kill the rest of the uh, rust. After I hit everything with the 180 for as feather isn't it, I got me a scotch bright maroon scotch bright and I'm trying to remove someone had put some tape on here and they got a lot of glue still on it from the tape. So I'm trying to remove it. And I just got a scotch bright with some wax and grease remover on it. I'm just going around hitting it. Because it gotta be scuffed up anyway. So the paint will be able to stick so 
you can do it with this uh, wax and grease remover see this here there's some kind of wax I'm not sure what it is but this here get it up see that there some more here I'm just trying to get a smooth surface. Everything cleaned up. Of course, the wax and the adhesive on both doors. Now I'm finna fill these pits. Use some fiberglass filler just to fill those up. While my fiberglass filler drying, I'll jump over here on this and start wiping my rust mold on my air. I already got some in my cup here. Just gonna wipe it on the pitted airs to kill the rest of the rust. Started shaping up my fiberglass filler. Now I gotta finish it on up. Feather edge with this dolphin glaze. Don't need much of it. Now I take some 180 and shape it on up. We'll be good to go. Sand it down, ready to shoot my epoxy. I'm gonna shoot the epoxy over all my brown metal spots. Then I'll go back and shoot some high build over top of the epoxy. Here's the epoxy. I know I said I was just going to do the bare metal spots, but I had enough in my gun, so I just went on and done all of it. Now I mix up my high bill, spread about two coats on top of this, then I'll be good to go.
here is the following morning. Hot bill, primer done dry. Now I'm about to spray some guide coat on. Just giving you a look at it before I put the guide coat on. Got it coat dry. Now I'm gonna start wet sanding these doors. I'm gonna wet sand with some 320 because I'm gonna put a seal on it, so I'll be able to cover those scratches up pretty easy. Guess let me get started. All I'm gonna be doing is removing the guide coat. Finishing up on these doors here. Just got done doing this section. Alright, then wipe this one down. Just gotta wipe it down. Then I jump over here on this dick lid. Most of it I'm just gonna use a maroon scotch sprite. Just scuff up the air. That's all you gotta do. But where I repair it or it's primed it, I probably will send those airs. Finishing up on the scuff. And I got all the just gotta finish this area. Once I get done, I'm gonna blow it off. Then I wipe it down. Then I mask up my stickers. I also remask these door stickers because I put them on when I had primed the doors. I remask those. Everything wiped down, ready to shoot my cylinder. Got a little flap here. So I can easily remove the tape when I get ready to spray the clear.
This here is one coat of sealer. That's all I need, one coat. It's one uniform color now. Now it's time for my metallic base. It's a Stella Silver by Yurikam. This three coats of the metallic base, Stella Silver. Now I get ready to spray my micro flake. It's a 0 0.006 silver flake. Two coats of the silver micro flake. Time for the candy coat. It's gonna be a candy fry red.
four coats of candy. Now I unmask my stickers and clear over the stickers as well. Let me put you down so I won't get into the candy. Stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the